top hitting the solar panels and stuff, but it's not as bad as it was and not as loud as it was when uh, with the other van. So grateful for that. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you for taking your time out today to watch watch my video. Uh, this video right here. Uh, I want to make this video right here to respond to a comment and uh, one of my videos of uh, I don't give a what. And uh, this video is for st still standing 5732. I want to uh, tell you, brother or sister, uh, thank you for watching my video. Thank you for taking time out to watch it. When I saw your comment, I felt like I wasn't offended. I wasn't mad. It was just the same thing that I run into. And I wanted to take this time to, to respond to you respectfully because you gave me the respect. You was, you know, your comment was respect. So, you know what I'm saying? I owe you the same. Uh, with that said, I said that man, I'll stop this time. Yeah. I said that I'm headed east by the way. I said that uh in a moment of frustration. First time I'd ever documented. I did that and I spoke in a manner <clears throat> however I, however wrong I may have been I've been wrong before and I just, man, I let it out. I had to be honest. And a lot of times I've gotten my answer in that moment of honesty. But I'm a human. I go through like you go through. You're supposed to be human. I hope you're human. And I said that because if you're Christian, I don't know if you're Christian or not, but that's one of the things that turned me away from church. When I'm being in a, in a, in a, when I'm I talked to one of the elders or I even tried to talk to somebody, you know, maybe a little bit older than me, but they were younger than the elder. And they was all, you know, they all up there and got the suit on. You know, all that shit at, at the church front. So. I even talked to them in a second. And, you know, I let it out. I speak what I'm what I'm feeling. Because everybody get everybody get fed up at a point. Yeah, you keep up this, you know. But man, after a while, man, you know. Enough shit go down. You 
gonna have a moment where you're gonna break. That don't mean you, you that don't mean you throw it all away, but just like any other human, you're gonna have you're gonna have your moment of doubt. But I didn't like when I talk to them people in church and be real and honest, just like I was being honest with y'all. Hopefully somebody else who has seen this could relate. I'm not throwing my faith away, but damn, I'm going to doubt it. After enough stuff go down, after I catch enough L's, after them L's start piling up, I'm looking up at the L's. Just like any other human. You're going to have your moment of weakness, your faith, uh, or whatever. That was me. Now, I know God is real. That's just, like I said, there's evidence all around me. Trees, grass, wildlife. But that don't stop me. Because each one of us, we got our own pursuits. Well, things we're after. You don't know what I'm after. What I'm after is, what you're talking about cars and how's all that, that's fine. I had cars and all that. But, what I'm after, you don't know what I'm after. And I'm dogged in my pursuit. And, when L's stack up in that pursuit, you're gonna get a little weary, just like anybody. And that's what it was. Because you saw another video that uh, came in on the tail end of that about I'm back on my horse. Cause that's what goes down. You know, I'm riding. The ride gets a little rough. You know, hop off. Hop off, tossed off, whatever. You go through it for a second. Then you dust yourself off and get back on your horse. That's what it is. I'm back on the horse. I got back on the horse. I just had my moment and I shared my moment. But, again, back to the people at the church, what turned me off was those super duper, nothing affects them, super reinforced titanium Christians. Can't stand that, you know? Come down here with me. Dig back in your memory banks. You had a time in your life where you had enough hell stacked up where you probably doubted. Well, don't share that with people. Don't come all the time with this, this bullshit. Respectfully. But I'm just saying, don't come all the time. And this is to the church folk, not necessarily you. Don't come all the time. See, church folk, this is what turn a lot of people away from the church. You come with all that, that, that superhuman, nothing phases you. You ain't never phased. You stood tall through it all, through the storm, the rain, and all that shit, man. Away with that shit. You know, relate with some people. Understand, hey, man, look. I don't doubt it. Whether you not, you know, some may have, some may have not. But like you say, you curse God sometimes. About the circumstance. Because you don't feel like nobody's listening to you. I mean, if you're somewhere and you're trying to get somebody's attention and, uh, 
you seem to be constantly ignored, that's going to piss you off. I hope it does. You know, and that's my thing. Stop coming to people, man, with all of that. Like you just went through it all. And you stood tall. You Faith unwavering and all of that shit. Don't do that. Tell people the real. Explain. Say, yeah, I went through da 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 da. And I, but, you know, I got on my knees or whatever, and I don't get on my knees. Because God, man, He want me to stand up. But that's a whole nother video. But anyway, you humble yourself, said you were sorry, you got back on your horse. That's all you can do. And you, you know, you move forward. But one of the things, man, with the church folk, you're going to help people, call yourself helping people. You've been through things too. Understand that. Understand that when they say that. Don't. I'm like you ain't never felt like that because that is so disingenuous and you piss off people even more because they felt like then that felt like damn you can't understand what I'm saying damn you that superhuman you that bulletproof so when you Y'all need to come from a point of understanding and not so much the logistics. We know the logistics. We know all that. But in a moment of frustration, have somebody by letting them know you understand. Because if you've been through, like you said you've been through, you ain't went through that shit just rock solid like that. No. Not if you're a human being. Miss me with that shit. But, uh, just be more genuine. You'll win people more like that.